Hiya, I'm Jasper, and welcome to the video review for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. It's a movie starring Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Margot Robbie. And they are always a win, always fantastic, and it's so awesome to see Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio in the same movie. So I'm super excited, I was super excited for it. And so, uh, as always, I'm gonna give you the good, the bad, and the furry. So to start off with the furry, Brad Pitt's character owns a dog in this movie, and it is just an adorable dog, and while not necessarily a main character, it is an important character, it plays its part, and it has some decent screen time, and it's well trained, so I thoroughly enjoyed the canine character that was in it. I think you will too. So, moving on to the good and the bad. Uh, so the good is that this is a film by Quentin Tarantino, and I love Quentin Tarantino movies. He's made the Kill Bill movies. He has made Pulp Fiction. He made Inglorious Bastards. He made Django Unchained. He makes, he makes amazing movies. So if you like Quentin Tarantino movies, you're going to like this movie because it's a Quentin Tarantino movie, which means that the dialogue is on point and it's not necessarily told in chronological order. And it's done in a good way, in my opinion. Um, it has snappy dialogue. And... I gotta, I gotta really hand it to Leonardo DiCaprio, because you know he's an amazing actor. He's finally won his Oscar. He's done some amazing movies. But it's just so awesome to see him in this one, because I, I'm not an actor, but I think it would be challenging to be an actor, playing an actor, acting as an actor. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that just seems complicated to me, and he pulls it off so well. Um, it's really fun to just see him in these scenes with this this layered acting that he has going on and it's just it's utterly fantastic brad Pitt's pitt's character is is nicely is nicely done um i found him entertaining every moment that he was on the screen um i will say getting to the bad now uh the movie is two hours and 40 minutes long and you feel it there's a number of driving scenes where there are just people driving in cars and like that's cool just, you don't need so much of it. There's so much just people driving in a car. And it's not a chase sequence or anything. They're just driving. And it's two hours and 40 minutes long. And I feel like there are some scenes that they could have cleaned up. Now, I will say that as I was watching the film, I, I did feel a little bit of like, what is this scene for? Why do you have this in here? What is the point of this? Come on, let's get going. Um, and most of that went away by the time the movie ended. So what I will say is that if you're feeling like, okay, what is the point of this and whatnot, it's a Quentin Tarantino movie. You just gotta trust in Quentin Tarantino. It will make sense. It will matter. It will be good. Um, so it's long. You feel it. And Margot Robbie's character, uh, I feel like they could have done a little bit more with, but I, I kind of understand why they didn't. Um, I personally... I'm not a historian. Uh, that era of Hollywood was before my time. So I had, let's just say, at the most, a passing familiarity with anything to do with Sharon Tate, which is her character. So, uh, and I still found the movie entertaining. I don't know if maybe my enter my entertainment value went up or down because I, I didn't know the whole story or whatever before I watched the movie. Um, but I will say that I liked this movie and you know how much I didn't really know anything about Sharon Tate. So yeah, um, overall, I would say that if you like Leonardo DiCaprio, if you like Brad Pitt, if you like Margot Robbie, if you've liked any Quentin Tarantino movies in the past, that you're going to have a good time if you see this movie. So see it, enjoy it, have a good time. That's all I got for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you at the next one. Thanks for coming. Bye.